first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this podcast episode number 1 we are going to revise the important formulas and concepts on the topic percentage so before listening this podcast don't forget to watch my percentage lesson videos so if you are if you don't have a proper internet facility so don't forget to get our offline pen drive and try to watch all the percentage lesson without fail so definitely this podcast will help you to revise the complete percentage topic one day or two days before you are competitive to exams so try to listen this podcast so that the revision will be very much easy for you so now entering into the topic percentage so first we have learned in the lesson number 1 we have learned the basic about the topic how to find the percentage values and most importantly remember one thing if you are like going to solve a question on the percentage 90 percentage mind calculation should be there got it so mind calculation is more and more important on the topic percentage so why because every time you should not go with pen and paper always if you have, if for example 1200 rupees so for 1200 rupees if they are like asking what is 50 percentage of the number you should just like that say the answer is 600 understood or not you have 1200 rupees in your hand so if they are asking out of that 1200 what is 50 percentage which is 600 what is 10 percentage of 1200 just 120 what is 1 percentage of 1200 which is 12 so if you know what is 1 percentage it is easy to find 3 percentage 1 percentage is 12 so 3 percentage will be 12 into 3 which is 36 so remember that the mind calculations are more and more important on the topic percentage so in lesson number 1 this is the stuff we have learned how to find the percentage values fastly and then we have learned one important concept x percentage of y is equals to y percentage of x so never forget that got it so for example 50 percentage of 36 so they are asking like what is the answer for 50 percentage of 36 for the number 36 we have to find what is 50 percentage finding 50 percentage is very easy yes or no for 36 50 percentage will be half of the number which is 18 but in case if there are asking like what is 36 percentage of 50 some students will struggle to find for 50 what is 36 percentage remember that you can write x percentage of y or y percentage of x both are same 36 percentage of 50 or 50 percentage of 36 both are same answer is 18 so that's the logic behind this what we have learned in the lesson number 1 that's it right so initially we have learned how to find the percentage values fastly and then we have learned one of the important concept x percentage of y is equal to y percentage of x so never forget that so all these concepts we have learned in lesson number 1 that is how to find a percentage value fastly and one important property x percentage of y is equal to y percentage of x both are same so now second lesson in second lesson we have solved most of the basic question how to find the percentage values and then some basic equation will be there and for that equation we need to find the percentage values that's it we, these are the basic questions we have solved in second lesson so second lesson is not that much important so second lesson to understand the basic values of the topic percentage got it how to find that so now it's lesson number 3 so where we start learning the important concepts on this topic so first in lesson number 3 there are two important formulas x is what percentage of y and x is what percentage more or less than y so never forget these two formulas so these two formulas you can able to see in most of the quantitative aptitude topics not only in percentage you can able to see these two formulas never forget that x is what percentage of y so the formula will be x by y into 100 x is what percentage more or less than y so x minus y divided by y into 100 so you don't want to buy at it because it is very easy and remember one thing the first formula what i have told you now x is what percentage of y so the same sentence can also be asked as what percentage of y is x so both are same got it so first let we get into the first formula x is what percentage of y 
so the meaning here is our target is to find x value is what percentage when compared to y value got it or not x is what percentage of y remember one thing of y right of y so the letter y which is nearer to the word of that should comes in the denominator understood or not whatever the word or a letter or a number which is nearer to the word of so that should comes in the denominator and the remaining value should come in the numerator so never forget that i can tell you again x is what percentage of y so here the letter y is nearer to the word of so y should be in the denominator x should be in the numerator so that the formula will be x by y into 100 understood or not so similarly the second formula x is what percentage more or less than y so here also than y understood or not we need to compare with y so the value what we are going to compare should always comes in the denominator of y y should come in the denominator than y y should come in the denominator never forget that x minus y divided by y into 100 so if there are like asking whether it is more or less only based upon the answer you need to say it if you are getting a value in positive after substituting all the values in the formula so if you are getting an answer in positive then it is more if you are getting an answer in negative then it is less understood or not so always never forget these two formulas in quantitative aptitude so the person who we are going to compare that person should comes in the denominator understood or not right so one example i can say you x is 10 percentage more than y just for example x is 10 percentage more than y so we are going to compare with y understood so the comparison when the comparison person mark is unknown but x mark is 10 percentage more so what you need to do here is the person y we need to assume as 100 and the person x we need to assume as 110 understood or not always the unknown person should be take it as 100 percentage and the known person because here x is 10 percentage more than y so we need to keep the y value as 100 percentage and x value as 110 percentage understood or not i think these are the stuff we have learned in lesson number three and we have solved eight to ten question on this lesson number three that is based on x percentage and y value comparison got it so two formulas we have learned in lesson number three x is what percentage of y x is what percentage more or less than y got it so the comparison person should always comes in the denominator so never forget that so our next lesson is lesson number four so here in this lesson number four we have learned a new concept called based on salary and in this lesson number four we have solved six to eight question i think so that is based upon a salary salary is most important concept in the topic percentage so if we are like going to solve a question on the concept of salary you need to remember some of the important words so first is salary or else income right so income of a person or salary of a person got it and next is a spending or else the expenditure so from the amount what is whether he is uh, earning 20,000 or his income is 30,000 from that only he will spend which is called as expenditure after spending you will have some amount which is called as savings so this three words are most important income expenditure and the savings or else this expenditure can also be said as spends a person spends 10,000 the meaning is the expenditure so income minus expenditure is equal to savings or else expenditure plus savings is equal to income understood or not so these three words are most important in lesson number four so an, another important thing from here in this topic that is based on salary we have learned one concept called a base value right so if a salary of the person is unknown you have to keep the salary as 100 percentage or else you need to keep the value as 100 rupees that is based upon the question understood so never forget that if the question value was not given right the salary of the person is not given so you always consider this as 100 percentage so 100 percentage will be the salary of the person understood and then you you guys know that the spending savings so all those stuff we have learned in the lesson number three got it sorry lesson number four that is based on salary so now it's lesson number five 
so lesson number five is most important concept if you are preparing for any high level competitive exams that is for a cat exam or a gate exam or any tough level sbapo bank exam or some sort of campus interview so it company some uh, tough level it companies where you can able to see uh, questions will be asked on lesson number five and lesson number six so here in this lesson number five the concept will be on based on election so if it is an election based so the voters candidates winner loser majority so there are many concepts right so we have solved five question in this lesson number five so first if it is based on an election the person who got more number of votes will be the winner and the person who got less number of votes will be the loser and there is an another important word called majority or else by the letter the word by by understood so the meaning of majority here is the winner won the election by how many votes the meaning here is when compared to the loser how much vote he got more and won the election which is called as majority or else we can say majority is equal to winner vote difference loser vote so winner vote difference loser vote will be the majority understood or not so by how many votes the winner got and won the election so by how many votes which means when compared to the loser how much votes more the winner got so that is the most important concept in lesson number 5 two words one is majority and the second is the word by understood and in the previous lesson that is in the previous lesson we learned about the salary so where in the base value 100 percentage we have taken for the monthly income so if the income of the person is unknown we have taken as 100 percentage here we will take the total number of vote that is cast by the candidates will be 100 percentage so 100 percentage is the base value where we will take for the total number of votes and another two concepts are there one is a valid vote and another is the invalid vote for example out of 100 percentage of the total votes right so total votes elected in this election will be 100 percentage so out of 100 percentage if there are two percentage of the votes are invalid then we need to say that so 100 percentage is the total votes minus of that is total votes cast two percentage is the invalid votes so total valid votes will be 98 percentage only from the valid votes we have to calculate how much the winner got and how much the loser got understood or not so this is the most important concept and this is the basic concept to solve lesson number five so never forget that always remember that the total votes that was cast in the election should be taken as 100 percentage if there are three percentage or 10 percentage invalid votes are there so from the total votes cast subtract that invalid vote 10 percentage so remaining will be 90 percentage only from that 90 percentage of valid votes the winner will get some amount of votes and the loser will get some amount of votes understood or not so this is the important concept in lesson number five so don't forget that if you are preparing for tough level competitive exams so try to revise this lesson number five and here is the last lesson that is lesson number six based upon marks or a based upon an examination if it is a based upon an examination so definitely two concepts will be there one is a pass percentage and the fail percentage or else a pass mark or a fail mark understood so in the previous two lesson where in the fourth lesson i think so we have was uh, we have kept the salary unknown person the salary of the unknown person as a base value 100 percentage and in the previous lesson the total vote cast was taken as 100 percentage so similarly here the total examination mark should be taken as 100 percentage as a base value so base values are important right so always remember the base value the unknown value should be taken as the base value so and then the concepts like how much the student has to secure in order to get a pass mark or else what is the maximum mark that was kept in the examination so all those sort of questions you can able to see in lesson number six i will tell you one sort of uh, small concept in the topic percentage for example so student should get 40 percentage to get the pass mark got it if we get 40 percentage the student will be passed 
but that student what he did is he got 220 marks but he failed by 20 marks it's one of the most important concept i can say you again in the examination in a mathematics for example let me take a mathematics test in a mathematics test a student has to secure 40 percentage to get the pass mark but the student got only 220 mark and he failed by 20 marks what is the meaning of it he got 220 mark but he got failed but the meaning here is the student got 220 marks failed by 40 marks or failed by 20 marks the meaning here is if he scored 20 marks more then he could have got the pass mark yes so already he got 220 marks so now he failed because of that not getting 20 marks more so when you add 220 plus 20 resultant will be 240 so which will be the pass percentage understood or not so that mind calculation is important i can say you again a student should get 40 percentage in order to pass the mathematics paper but the student got only 220 mark and he got failed by 20 marks the meaning here is even though he got 220 mark he got failed but the sentence what they are saying here is he got 220 marks but failed by 20 marks in case if he scored 20 marks more then he could have cleared the exam so 220 marks what he scored plus 20 resultant will be 240 so if he scored 240 then he could have cleared the mathematics paper we know that 40 percentage mark he have to take to clear the exam so we can say that that 40 percentage of the mark will be 240 understood or not so finding the total marks in the examination is easy because we know that always the unknown value should be taken as 100 percentage so 100 percentage is equal to x where the 40 percentage pass mark is equal to 240 so resultant once you cross multiply it you will get what is the total marks in the examination so this is the way you have to solve the question that is on the topic based on marks concept got it so that's it i think totally we have learned six different lesson and uh, in the marks concept you need to know some important word like aggregate mark mean mark average mark so these are the steps are important what uh, aggregate mark is the total mark so mean mark or an average mark so out of for example the exam has been conducted with six subjects so you have to add all the six subject mark and divided by six which is called as a average or a mean mark understood or not so so friends that's it so in this uh, percentage topic six lessons we have learned all the important concepts and if you are preparing for any competitive exams so don't forget to watch all my percentage videos not only percentage don't forget to watch my complete youtube channel aptitude videos so that's it a final uh, recall so initially we have learned how to find uh, uh, the percentage values fastly and then we have learned one important property x percentage of y is equal to y percentage of x and next will be lesson number two we saw some of the basic question and lesson number three two important formula x is what percentage of y x is what percentage more or less than y always the comparison person should comes in the denominator and then based upon the salary so if it is a salary you need to remember two important words expenditure and savings so income minus expenditure resultant will be the savings understood so if the income of the person is unknown you have to keep the value as 100 percentage as a base value and the next lesson that is based on election if it is an election so winners losers majority or else buy so all these words are important and another important concept is invalid votes and valid votes what we learned in lesson number five and the last lesson lesson number six that is based upon marks so if it is a based upon marks then you need to remember that like fall uh, fail percentage or pass percentage aggregate marks mean mark average mark and some important concepts that's it so this is more than enough to uh, crack a question on the topic percentages so thank you so much for watching this podcast i hope definitely uh, students those who are preparing for the last moment before one day two day before the exams so if you watch all my podcast definitely you can revise the complete aptitude session easily so friends thank you so much for watching this podcast see you soon in the next topic and next episode on this quantitative aptitude so thank you so much for watching this podcast bye sorry thank you so much for listening this podcast bye